All right, we're here with Nick Aguilar, who is going to be fighting in the Combat USA tournament come March. Uh, Nick, you've been all over the place in your career, a lot of huge yes. organizations. What was the deciding factor for you to join this Combat USA tournament the second season? Uh, I had nothing going on right now, really. So, I mean, kind of easy to – I had nothing to do. So, <laughs> it's not like I was getting called by the big shows. Uh, and around here is probably the best thing going on so far. Okay, you have a lot of guys in the tournament – Coming up, how have all your guys looked so far with the guys that are going to be fighting in just a couple of days of January 6th? Oh, my guys look sharp. Uh, all of them. What do I got there? Four of them. Four, uh, four coming up. Um, Rob Roy, 55. He's, he's going to smoke guys. You know, people don't realize how good he is. He's tough. People think he's kind of a basic wrestler. Uh, you know, he's got good hands. He's got good conditioning. You know, before, the first couple years he fought, he didn't train. When he went to WC and stuff, he never trained. You know, now he's actually training. So now he's actually tough. You know, he's hard to deal with no matter where he's at. Gerald, he's an animal, he's a machine. You know, he's you can't get him out of the gym. You know, he's gonna you know, he's gonna surprise a lot of people and he's gonna beat Dallas, I think, uh, pretty simple. You know, Dallas is tough, uh, I think the waist cut's gonna be a little bit of a factor there. I think he's gonna have a hard time making the weight. And uh, you know, Gerald's just hard to deal with. His hands are fast, his kicks are fast, they're hard, his wrestling's coming along. People think he wrestled before, he never wrestled a day in his life. You know, uh, he was out with uh, we had Parkside wrestlers up yesterday actually and uh, you know, he held his own. Um, uh, Bobby, Bobby's a surprise people. Bobby's strong as hell. People don't realize how strong Bobby is. You know, Lenny, uh, Lenny won last year. I don't think the bracket was, uh, you know, the 70 was a little weaker than some of the other ones. Not saying, uh, Lenny's tough. You know, I mean, he's a tough kid, but, uh, you know, Bobby's a surprise a lot of people. He's, he hits real hard and, you know, he's strong. He looks a little soft, but he, he's strong as hell. Um, Zach, at, uh, what is he fighting there? 85 and after. He's, uh, he's, a, he's raw. Zach's a very, very tough guy. He's not the most technical, but he's raw, and he gives you some goals, and he likes to just bait it out. So he's a surprise to people. Okay, you personally, you're set right now to face Morgan Sickinger yes. in March. You know, how do you feel you match up with Morgan? What are you better at than him? Everything. Um, I'm better at everything than Morgan. Um, Morgan's strengths is wrestling. I think he said he wrestled 17 years, I think it was. It was a long time. Whatever it was, it was a long time. Um, I don't think he's a good wrestler. You know, if you wrestle 17 years, I think you should be a stud. You know, even if you're not a national champ or something, you, you should be pretty damn good. And, uh, you know, I think he lacks a little bit on wrestling. Um, I think it was a straight wrestling match. I tackle him. You know, and, and stand-ups, not where it should be. Um, so I really don't know what Morgan has for it. Plus, my guy beat him last year. You know, Javi's a, a tremendous fighter. You know, he's growing a lot. But, uh, you know, things he beat him on, I, I couldn't believe it. You know, Javi's a uh, jiu-jitsu and, and kind of a weird boxer. And he actually out wrestled Morgan. You know, he took him down uh, off of the scrambles. He out, he out uh, wrestled him from single legs and double legs. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, wow. You know, and he's not even, that's not his strong point. You know, his strong point is just more, being a little more fluent on the ground and out boxing. So I don't know, I don't know what Morgan has planned, but uh, I wish him luck. <laughs> so, you know, after that, coming up first is going to be a matchup between Chris Befera and Josh Cassie after Brian Garrity dropped out. Is there one of those guys between Befair and Cassie that you can see giving you trouble later on if you pass Morgan? Uh, you know, they're both tough guys. I, I guess if I prefer to fight when I fight Cassie, just because everybody talks about how good he is. And, and I truthfully, I think he's a tough guy, but I think he belongs at 35. You know, I don't know what he's thinking about coming up, and uh, he's got a lot of hype behind him. And, you know, he just fought Chase B, who's, who's a stud. You know, you know BB's tough. He's on the other side of the bracket. I couldn't believe people thought he was going to win the fight. You know, I, I just read about it. I didn't actually see it, but it's not like he got beat pretty good. Um, I think, truthfully, Befair is going to win. I've never seen Befair fight, but things I heard about him, and, you know, people just think, I, I just think he's a tough kid. You know, I looked him up, and, uh, you know, he's beating quality opponents. Um, I think he's tough, but he, too, belongs at 35, but, you know, he's tough. You know, he, so I think, uh, I think that's what I'm going to have second round. If, if I had to pick the two, I, I could see just because uh, he's got more hype. And you don't hear too much about Befair, and I think he's a legit kid. You know, before Garrity pulled out, people were really excited about that matchup. Was that something you would have been interested in if you two would have met in the finals? Yeah, it's kind of weird because me and Garrity trained for, you know, five years or so. You know, no, five, seven, eight years. And we trained a long time, you know. Uh, so, we, you know, I, I think it would have been it would have been an awesome fight between us because I think we would have brought the best out of each other. You know, we, we've been, you know, we went at it for eight years or so. Um I gotta tell you, I, I don't want to fight him. You know, I mean, we train with a guy that long. You don't want to. Would I take it? I wasn't gonna back out of the tournament. Um, I, I think it would have been a good fight. Okay. You know, 
you know, um, finally, if you win this Combat USA tournament, which a lot of people are predicting, you know, it's going to be a few wins in a row. Your record's going to grow, you know, even stronger. Do you think and do you want a shot that, you know, a shot in a big organization again? Yeah, yeah, of course I want a shot in a big company. Um, yeah, I'm getting old. I'll be 32 in uh, three weeks. So, um, you know, I'm not uh, 20 years old anymore. You got, uh, you know, the, the Mercharts and uh, the Cokes and, and the Pettis, you know, they're 22 years old, you know, average or so, you know. Um, 32, so I'm a little older now. Um, yeah, of course, you know, this tournament I think it's over in July. You know, hopefully a couple good wins gets me in there. I actually, um, you know, not saying I would have had the shots, but, but uh, Duke offered me some short notice shots in the UFC already. Um, I just got bad timing of being hurt, you know, uh, that, uh, uh, China, the guy from China, he, uh, it was a week notice, but, uh, that day, actually, uh, Rob Roy kind of popped my arm a little bit that day, so, you know, was, I couldn't take that in a week, um, and then on the last one, I got offered, uh, December 4th, I was actually offered to fight, uh, Tyler Turner, huh. um, at 45, the problem with that is I wasn't training because I was sitting out for a little bit, and I couldn't make 45 in 10 days, um, I was at, you know, Ho-Ho's and Ding Dong's is kind of uh, the, the holidays of uh, 73. And, uh, you know, I never made 45 yet. People are questioning, can I make it? Yeah, I can make it. You know, I, I've been down to 48 and pretty easy. Um, when I used to wrestle, a few years back, I, it was at 41. Um, so I was actually offered two shots, a little short notice, you know, not like I'm on the cards. Um, you know, what I've gotten them, you know, wasn't offered all the way. But, you know, I think, you know, with uh, going through Duke or whatever, you probably would have pulled it for me. So... Excellent. I think that's all I got for you. Thanks for taking some time. Thank you.